Hey guys, I'm Rosa Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Shadow of the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Where we last left off was we did a DLC mission, side mission, we're still on it, uh, which is the Dragon and the Prince, I believe it was called. Uh, we did that in the last episode, we finished up that puzzle for that. Um, we're now in a different tomb with a different set of puzzles, uh, with some fungus related matter. But we're trying to get up here because that's where we're headed off to next, it seems. So that's what we're doing. Let's go. And figure out a way up, I guess. Alright, cool. It was a simple just climb. <laughs> I wasn't sure because it didn't look obvious, I guess. Some of the textures just don't really mesh well with like the stuff, but the blocks are there, I feel like. The blocks are there, the mesh the the texture isn't there for me to really figure things out here properly. Why is it getting more and more like scarier, but even though it looks beautiful and stuff. God, so many bodies. I have to avoid those spores. What? What? Sorry, the camera spun it. The camera spun itself by its. Like, I didn't do anything. The camera just span or spun around on its own. <laughs> It like had a mind of its own and just span like it's spun around like 180 for no reason or yeah 180 is because it was like literally staring at Laura's mug or face rather like it just spun around and like just spun around and just like made me like confused to why the uh, camera did that to itself. All right. It's cool that we had to also climb around this space though. It's like exploring the space a little differently. Alright. Climb down. And then down there we go. Alright, we made it. Now to get out of here after this. Whatever this thing is. Oh, achievement. Mushroom with a mushroom with a view achievement unlocked. Aim at your enemies to tag them for persistent tracking. Yes, this was a mechanic I wanted. I think whenever I was like dealing with enemy types sometimes, because I'm constantly trying to go in and out of like scanning the area to like figure out where they're at. But thankfully, it's finally done. I'll take it. This entire construction is a test for the leadership of Trinity. Ah. If Amaru had fully committed to Trinity sooner. They would have given him the food then, before Sairi went hunting and got killed. I will never hesitate again. Amaru was making a promise to his dead brother, in a language no other Pytetian could read. There is one person who can confirm all of this for me. And that is... The person who originally... The, the lady? That one lady with the shield thing? Yeah, because I think the lady with the shield thing has one more thing to do, make us do, I think, in order to help satisfy her requests. The dragon and the prince. Let's go back to the old man. Oh, to the old man. Never mind. It's the guy we saw earlier, I think. Uh, is the next one set up yet? Yeah, it's already set up. Sweet. Okay, we just need to talk to that old man over there. Alrighty. Awesome. Awesome possum. Yeah, I mean this this particular side quest is not bad. I think, uh, though the hard part is like figuring out like some of the stuff from it. That's like, is it you know like worth the while? I think the marking the enemies is like definitely worth it for it. I wasn't anticipating what we would get. Like all of these stuff, I always go in the hair blindly. I like. Oops, my bad. Like I always go through these like side stuff without really looking at whatever's up ahead because I don't really know myself and I don't want to spoil myself sometimes. Uh, yeah, I mean spoilers are hard to like manage sometimes when you're trying to look for answers for some stuff or, like you're like, I'm stuck, I need answers and then just like whatever it is maybe. Alright, let's climb up here, talk to the old man. We're almost there. Familiar place as always. This guy right here. What do you have to say, buddy? Ah, it's you again. 
Did you find what you're looking for? Yes. I think so. More than I was expecting. You look troubled. What's on your mind? Did you ever see Amaru back here after... after the famine? <laughs> you mean after his brother died? I told you they were inseparable. When Sairi died, a part of Amaru died along with him. Not long after it happened, he came back here once, and then never again. He devoted himself entirely to the cult of Kukulkan. I guess his brother's death changed his priorities forever. Thank you. You've been more helpful than I can say. Is that the end of the Kamianka thing? Kamianka was right. This wheel is important to Amaru. It might be the most precious thing he owns. We have no reason and no right to keep it from him. Okay. I thought there was like I thought there was like uh, more to it, but all right, cool. I think it's on the map, right? To to go back to her. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm I'm trying to figure out what is the main path and I'm just hoping it doesn't really force me to go into the main story stuff. I'm trying to avoid doing the main quest until I finish off like a lot of the side quests first before then. But so far the side stuff has offered me all the stuff I need to like be prepared for anything f fighting wise ahead. Let me do something first before we... I want to see the, the, the abilities. Uh, Raptor's Eye. I'm wondering if aiming at them and just holding on to them would tag them right off the bat. I think it was like Uncharted 4 that had something like that mechanically. Um, where you just point your gun at the guy and it will just mark that guy forever. Until the guy dies, of course. Um, do I have to change outfit for this? I'm hoping not, but... Yeah, because I have to go in here anyways. It's gonna push me back, isn't it? Nope, yeah, okay, cool, cool. Uh, okay, we have to go back and turn into a serpent outfit so we can go in there. That's kind of dumb, but okay, I guess. That's not a thing? I thought that would be a thing, I guess. All right, there's a campfire nearby somewhere, I think. Right here. Alright, let's change outfits. Jeez. There is also a, um... An achievement for restoring some of these visages. So I might do them right now a little bit. Man-made resources. Let me craft these things up anyways. No, I don't want to switch them. They're not that great, though. To me. Increases endurance effect herbs. Yeah, I want to go back to the stuff. Oh, I, I saw the achievement. I just didn't realize I achieved it. Okay, anyways. It's good. It's all good. I just wanted to get the achievement for the Vistage Restorations because it seems like they would want you to achieve, like restore five pieces of the outfits. Alright, let's do the Servant Guard. Yes. Alright, let's keep moving. I don't know if there's any more side quests because some 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 of the side quests actually are hidden behind uh, the serpent guard outfit, which is weird to me. Um, but it's like I don't know if there's any more to it because they haven't really mentioned any more of it after after some time. But yeah, we just need to run through here, I guess. Is it gonna force me to slow walk? Yes, it will. I hate this so much. Just let me walk like normal. Oh, I see. Give this to him. Give this to Amaru. Him. Amaru. <laughs> what did that insolent priest want? What? How? Give me that. He doesn't know who gave it to him. That's hilarious. Oh, 
Okay, I guess. Is that the end of the quest now? I guess. Go back to and report. Okay. I'm hoping I didn't really miss too much though, and that's my problem, is because there is a documentation thing going, but then I didn't really grab all the documents somehow. Not sure how or what it is, but... Alright, well, anyways. Um, outfit change. Yes. I don't want to wear this outfit for... Because the thing is really getting in my way. Oh, jeez. No, that's not it. This. There we go. Yeah, I like this one a lot because of the, the, the abilities that lives behind the outfit or around the outfit. Because the outfit itself is like way more useful in my opinion, but it's like not as like anything interesting beyond that. Okay. Don't know what the thing was. Alright, let's get back into the skull cave and like turn this mission in. I mean, there's not much... There's not much left of that particular quest anyways, and that's the hard part, is like not knowing if the documents that I need to grab were missed out on, because they're missable stuff, I guess. But, I don't know. How important it is, I don't know. But it would be nice to know all the story pieces, of, of course. To, to know all the story pieces behind and around those side missions that are DLC stuff, but, uh, yeah. Kind of sucks a little bit. Going to report in on this. Hmm? Why the kid? Oh, the kid was the one who started it. I forgot about it. You're back. What have you learned? Too much, I think. What happened? I returned the cipher wheel to Amaru. Its messages have no value to the rebellion. The wheel is personal. A keepsake that represents Amru's love for his brother, Sairi. The codes point to various dead drops the brothers had, hidden throughout the city. One of them contained food which he'd gotten from Trinity to help during the famine. But Sairi never received the message, because by then he'd already died. Oof. Amaru wasn't always the man he is now. Whatever his faults, he still believes in doing what's best for Paititi. I know. He's always held the city and the people in it close to his heart. Along with his regrets. It is kind of a good- oh. He ain't heavy, achievement unlocked. <laughs> Silent Sting Scorpion, that's cool. New gear acquired, okay. Is there more? Besides the extra skill point, of course. Mission complete, the dragon and the prince. Yeah, so then that document thing that I'm looking at. Okay, so we're done with that one. Now we only got three more to go, which is fantastic. But the document thing that I saw here, all the way at the bottom, is not fulfilled, unfortunately, I think. Oh, no, it is. Okay, cool. I see. So it's just, yeah, it's just like whatever it is. My dearest Sairi, I'm leaving this for you here at the gateway to my greatest fear, in case I do not return. Trinity have, on more than one occasion, offered me the opportunity to join their number, and for several reasons I've delayed giving them a final answer. But I can delay no longer. They can provide the resources we need to feed Paititi and rescue our city from this terrible famine. So I put my fears aside. Willing to risk even my very life for our people. And if I should pay the ultimate price, know that I did so with pride and with no regrets. Your loving brother, always, Amaru. Alright, cool. I honestly think this puzzle is like very... Oh, I see, so there might be some other stuff. Let me see. As anticipated, Amaru has completed the sixth seal in exemplary fashion. In fact, he has earned the highest recorded score in the history of this trial. <laughs> A testament not only to his considerable skill, but to his formidable determination. I judge him to be a more than worthy successor to my position. Signed, Dr. Dominguez. Oh. It's not a name. It's the title given to Trinity's leader. <laughs> P.S. 
We will at once provide Paititi with the food necessary to relieve the famine, as promised to Amaru in exchange for committing to our cause. So Dr. Dominguez is an alias to the leader of whatever Trinity has it in that region. So that's interesting. I didn't know that Dr. Dominguez was always been... So it might not be Amaru who might have been the one like that did some things sometimes because of the fact that they've moved around a lot, it seems. But that's really cool that they have it where... Uh, where the particular story point is that the Dr. Dominguez name is like not really like fully a name that people would understand or know about until a lot later. Thank you again for all you have done. Perhaps we'll share in the next adventure. Maybe. But I honestly think that that particular side quest, side mission for that DLC definitely is worth the play, I think, because it reveals a lot about um, Amaru, because I don't think in the main game there was much of an exploration about Amaru as a character with his brother. It's always said, or it's been read through a document, but not so much as, like, face up front where you're exploring a space that's related to the two, um, that had, like, very heat, uh, huge deep connections to um, said things, I guess. Sidewick? Great. Yeah. I don't know. Should I even upgrade the side quick? I don't feel like the damage is going to do much either. But I did see the scorpion pistol. Yeah, this one. Yeah, all the, the thing is completed. Reload speed's great. Fire rate and ammo capacity is just garbage as usual. So i rather not. i rather keep to the gun that I have that has like a silencer and the most ammunition, I think. Wait, which pistol I have equipped? Oh, is this one? Okay, okay. My brain was like not reading the, the check mark at the bottom right <laughs> as like a thing. Because my brain was like, what is this? Which is the one weapon I have? But this is also the last weapon that I have that I can be upgraded, right? No, there's two more here that has upgraded, uh, or that can be upgraded stuff. Okay. A lot of bows and arrows. I still don't really use them all either. Uh, a part of me feels like it's kind of failed to have any good reasons to have this much guns <laughs> or weapons to use. Like, I feel like there's a reasoning to not have that much in weapon types and range, or not range, like capacity, like variety, I guess, if there's no point in it at all. I'm upgrading anyways because I want to, uh, I wanted to, like, at least see what it looks like maximized in, in its stats. Uh, yeah, damage is like sorely lost. Yeah, the, the Whispering Scourge is the best damage with the best ammunition capacity and the best accuracy. Reload speed, I can take a hit on. I don't really think it's too much of a problem, uh, but it's like such a powerful weapon just looking at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, and then we got the outfit thing, yeah. Um... Is it crafted already, I guess? The gear is, like, right here, I guess, somewhere in around, around at the bottom here. It sucks that they also don't let you dress up as a different, like, different part of your yourself, I guess. Like, they they only allow up to a certain range of items you can equip with, but otherwise it's like, no, they're not going to let you try to wear the outfit you want to wear throughout the game consistently in the game, I guess. Unless it's a specific type that works in the area. All right. Let's jump into the next side, side mission that has a story thing, the side DLC stuff. So let's jump into one of these three. There's last, the, these last three are a thing. The question is, which one do we want to do? This one that requires me to be in like the uh, the the sur sur surfer, the 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 serpent guards, but I don't want to be that. What's the nightmare here? Nightmares up here. Path of fear. Take the passage through the water. I'll take that. This is the closest thing anyway, so why not, might as well. I think, yeah, we need to swim underwater and into wherever this thing needs me to go to swim towards. Yeah. I mean, we did see this thing. We did note that there's water here, but it's like... I think for me personally, I didn't think that there was like something interesting in here because I was like thinking it was shallow waters, but apparently it's deeper than anticipated. Let me get some air before we go down here. 
before we fully go down to uh, to the hole here and get to whatever tomb this may be. I have no clue what's gonna lead, where this is gonna lead, but we'll we'll take whatever we can. I'm wondering if this was like in like if this was pre definitive edition, like if if we were not in like definitive edition, like would we still be able to like see this through? Oh, I gotta go. Oh, this is bad. This is bad because there's no air here. All right, cool. Made it out of here. Whew. All right. There's a thing here. Some cloth, of course. Some facial looking thing. Sorry. I'm looking at the time, but I'm also trying to figure out like if I got a text or something because it was like I wasn't obviously knowing what was going on in my phone because I couldn't see what's going on on my phone. Alright, let's go about swimming through here, trying to get to wherever this is going to lead us to. It's really cool, the lighting in the water is also really cool though. Like, all the, look at the caustic, the caustic texture effect. I think it's what it's called, caustic effects. Uh, I did try to study up on how to make water effects in the games. Um, is this where we're supposed to be? I guess so. Yeah, because I did study up on like the water stuff. Uh, I was trying to make them in my own side projects because I was like, oh, I wonder how water is made in uh, Unreal. And I was like, designing or not designing, but like technical designing, I guess, is more accurate or scripting, I guess, material shaders and putting all things together to create a, uh, a sort of water-ish esque space. I think it was successful to some degree where I learned a bit of it like caustic effects I wouldn't have known about caustic I wouldn't have known about like the foams and the water um, as well as like how the water is like like a flat plane but then they have like mathematical like calculations about how to make the thing a little bit like uh, floaty looking and like ripple effects and stuff and they have like a bunch of like stuff going on to um, attach like some of the textures and meshes and stuff like that. It's it's a lot of work to kind of decipher how to calculate um, the idea of how water effects look in games. I think it's an interesting topic. I think not everybody's gonna get it though because it's a lot more harder to really assume some of the things. But it's like really really hard work and a lot of cool things at the same time. All right. Um. I see this thing. I see that thing. I'm not sure which one is a good path to wherever I need to go. I'm going this one first because reasons. <laughs> and I wasn't really anticipating much from it. I'm just like doing whatever I can to get to wherever I need to get to, I guess. I'm guessing there like might be two ways to wherever it is, but... I see what I did. I, okay. I saw what I needed to do there. I just need to get to that space again to redo that. I'm wondering what, what the other side do, though. <clears throat> like, what if I went on it to... Right here. Sad that there's only one spot here that can let you get up to the top here. So, can this side do anything for me? I'm wondering. Where is this going to lead me to? Okay, that kind of looked like it didn't lead to anywhere. I just want to double check to see what that was going to do for me. Because it didn't really tell me much information. Interestingly enough. Yeah, this thing didn't look like it led anywhere, really. Which is weird to me. There we go. It's also interesting how late, like how f how far off it takes to before it gets to the thing. All right, it's like how far off it is with the rope arrows or the rope uh, rope grapples. All right, so we need to swing and then re. Oh, messed up. Darn it. Excuse me. Um, we need to swing. Grab the thing. Grab the uh, the vines. 
swing ourselves over, and then we have to grab no rope, grab no, I guess it is. We have to do. And then that would lead us to wherever it is, I guess. Alright, let's move forward. Running to make it faster a little bit because I really want to just get going here because I'm not <laughs> making a huge successful splash. There we go. Uh, we need to go up anyways because I think that it'd be nice to... Okay, fine. I'll just swing over. Wait, what? Why is it blocking me like this? Oh, it doesn't really want me to really like... It didn't really need to swing that much, it just forces me to do whatever it is, I guess. I'm seeing if there's anything in, in the water, of course. But still, this is a beautiful looking spot still, nonetheless. But like, even though it's so small and like condensed area, it's like still a really nice beautiful space. Look at that, look at that, it's really cool, even though it's like not much of a view, it's like still a view to me. It's like, why wouldn't I get this as like a screenshot view? <laughs> Alright, anyways, um, oh no, we're not, uh, we're not done yet. We're still, we're still have a little bit more time. I'm, I'm gonna try my best to like aim for the 30 minutes, of course. I'm not gonna try to skimp out on a few minutes of it. Now, where do we need to go here? Ugh. Doesn't look great. It looks kind of grim. Yeah, because we need to swing to that side of the the grapnel spot. There we go. Yeah, it looks kind of grim for me for a second, but we made it. All right, cool. A little bit of climbing, a little bit of something else rather than not. Ooh. All right, this is a good spot to end it for sure. All right, this is definitely for my next episode for sure uh wherever this ends up being another sort of like picture of a temple space again as always all right anyways thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next episode whenever you mind hope you guys have a great amazing day we can night to one of watching this um i'm just trying to see the percentage but i don't think there's any percentage because dlc content does not include to the main progress of 100 percent so it will probably be uh, a bit more or a bit less than what it should be to like, get the content for whatever it is uh, up in the percentage. We're closing in on 80%, but I think once we're done with the main game, we can assess how much we're missing before we can actually make this, uh, before I can make myself clear on where I want to find my 100%, which I don't think I would chase after because there's a lot more to that content that might require me revisiting um, in terms of being on my own that is i'm not going to do it on video or anything i would rather do that on my own because it takes more time probably but uh, i might just give up on it afterwards if uh, if i finish the game anyways but anyways thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next episode on our video minds hope you guys have a great amazing day week and night or whenever watching this next episode let's visit this tomb run through it uh and figure out what the heck this space is all about so that we can like make do with understanding what's going on so, other than that, Roz, out.